We wanted to make two separate worlds. We had John Wick's world where he was in love with this woman and he's living like a normal life. And then once he goes into this assassin hyper real world, it becomes like a graphic novel. And so the situations are heightened, the characters are a little over the top, the costumes are a little bit heightened, the world is pushed. The underworld of John Wick has a formality to it, which I found really attractive. It's like everyone is really sensible and human and sophisticated in a way and, and good. We try to explain a world that is not seen for other people, the hidden world perhaps in New York, but it's the same wherever you go. I would say John Wick explores a very dark, seedy underbelly of New York City. It is one of violence <laughs> and very, very dark characters. Chad and Dave created this distinction with costume, with color, with the cinema that they use. So there are a lot of cues architecture that you walk into that let you know that you're in this other world. You know, whether you're walking into these doors and you open a door and whoa, there's a club, even though you've gone through the basement. You know, the underground world of Hitman has been captured by this boutique hotel. Continental, baby. I play the hotel manager of this hotel that is basically a hotel for some of the uh, most dangerous criminals and killers in the underworld. And I'm kind of the gatekeeper there. It is a pleasure having you with us again, Mr. Week. And this is where there's, you know, the assassins in the underworld go to relax. No business can be done there. It's the central hub for where you want to go if you're a bad guy. The Continental itself is like a safe ground, safe house. You go there, you take off your shoes, you can relax, you make your contacts, you make your deals. Anything off those sacred grounds, fair game. But on those grounds, you behave. No. And anyone who breaks those rules, as we find out, pays heavy penalties. You know, it's this very, like, isolated, crazy world that it actually makes you wonder if there are places like this. Everyone can go be safe for a second, sanctuary, and have a good time at the speakeasy. And you enter with the gold coin. Apparently, if you have a gold coin, you can pretty much get in there and get anything you need. The gold coins are, in a way, sort of the private credit card. The gold coins are kind of like your entrance into the world. Not only do you have to have the wealth to, to be in this sort of underworld, you have to have that type of wealth where you can drop a thousand bucks and enter these places, but it's more of like a membership. We deal in a currency of gold. Gold coins are passed amongst us. Goodbye, Charlie. This special group. Yeah. You can get somebody to come remove bodies for you. You can get a doctor that's not going to go to the cops. That gold coin identifies them with each other, and it's their way of moving through the process. One side of the coin is peace and violence in one character, and the other side, there's a lion for strength and a shield for protection, because these coins also, if you've got one, you're protected. Underneath his work table, he is buried literally a treasure chest <laughs> of gold coins, weapons, and his suit, John Wick's suit. In a way, it's almost like a costume, a costume in the tools of his trade. When John Wick opens that trunk, you see everything. When Marcus opens his cabinet, you see everything. You know, playing an assassin opens up the toolbox. Uh, we don't deal with poison, but we deal with guns. And fighting. <laughs> We do some knife stuff. The character as well, you know, can kill with a car. It's that wonderful idea that, like, a great cook would select the right knife. You've got John Wick and Marcus, and they're going to select exactly the right gun at the time that they feel is the perfect thing for what they're going to go do. We've created a world that's different, and we've approached the project in a different way, and it'll feel fresh and unique, and that's all you can hope for. It.